I bring you greetings on this Tuesday as we uh, share this time together by video. There is uh, one thing that is uh, a little bit new that I want to lift up for your consideration and uh, then some other things that you have heard before. Um, we continue to deal with the news from the COVID-19 and the impact that is having on our community and our world and how we are trying to respond to that as a church family. For today, there is one new bit of information that I want to share with you, and I'm going to mention four things to lead into that, and I think these four things are significant. The first two things come out of the morning devotional that I had today. The first thing is the scripture that I used for today. And that scripture was from Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. And in that scripture, we read about God creating in the beginning, and that verse reminds us that when God began creating, that the earth was without form and was void, and there was darkness over the face of the deep. Some translations say that there was chaos. And in those words, we continue to hear that out of that formless void, out of the chaos, out of the darkness, God spoke a word and God's word brought forth light God's word brought forth meaning God's word created purpose out of the chaos and you will recall that in that passage of scripture there was a pronouncement that was made on God's activity in creating the light and in creatively bringing meaning out of chaos God's pronouncement was it is good and I think while we are in the midst of these times where we feel so much chaos around us, that word, that passage has hope for us as we think about God's ability to creatively bring meaning and purpose and something good out of the chaos that we face in our lives. The first thing that I dealt with was the scripture for the day. The second thing that I dealt with this morning was in the devotional time, was a hymn that many of you will be familiar with, Hymn of Promise. And not just the entire hymn, but especially verse 2 of that hymn. And if you recall the words of, uh, of that hymn, what it tells us in verse 2, there's a song in every silence um, seeking word and melody. There's a dawn in every darkness bringing hope to you and me. From the past will come the future, what it feels a mystery, unrevealed until its season, something God alone can see. And the verse of that hymn reminds us that again there is darkness. And out of that darkness we have the hope of God bringing a dawn, the light of meaning and purpose from this creative ability of the Creator God. But that verse out of the hymn also reminds us that that will only be revealed in its season, and that's something that resides in God and God alone. When we think about the chaos in our world, whether it comes out of the scripture or a hymn like Hymn of Promise, we are reminded that the hope that we have for meaning and purpose comes out of the creativity of our creator God, and that gives us hope when we find ourselves facing such chaos. Those were the first two things that I wanted to mention today. There were two other things that I wanted to lift up. The third thing, and these kind of uh, repeat the themes out of the, the first two things. The, the third thing that caught my attention today was out of some news articles. That I saw today. And these headlines are no different than the headlines we've seen. I jotted down three of these that I thought were pertinent for us. Just uh, today, these headlines caught my attention from Gwinnett County. 
Gwinnett Court employee tests positive for COVID-19, clerk's office closed. A second headline from DeKalb County, COVID-19 case causes city's traffic court to close two weeks after reopening. And a third headline today, DeKalb schools seem set for delayed start to school year, originally planning to open on August the 3rd, and now that seems to have been pushed back to August the 17th. The news headlines that we see every day are reminding us that there is chaos, there's darkness in our world, and we are so ready for the end of all this to come. And yet the season for when it's going to end is something that God and God alone knows. And that leaves us searching for the way that we can creatively allow our creator God to be at work, giving us hope in this time of chaos. And that leads me to the fourth thing that I wanted to mention today and something that uh, will be con uh, we will continue to talk about this in the near future. And that is um, last night, which uh, actually uh, we are recording this on Monday, so this was Sunday night. Last night, Chris did a program for some of our youth and their parents that focused on bingo. They had tables set up outside in the parking lot. They were socially distanced from each other. They were wearing masks, and they had a few games of bingo that they played, and families were sitting together around a table isolated from other families, and each family was invited to bring a game of their own, a board game or a card game, and and after several rounds of bingo with prizes, they were able to spend that time in fellowship. And I thought it was just a really creative way to get people to come close together and to offer a program. And we were looking at that not just for what Chris was planning with some of our students and their families, but we were looking at that with the potential that that might could be a model that we would build on and offer some things, not just in the line of fellowship. Last night was intended to be fellowship, but looking at the opportunities that we could do similar things in the area of discipleship or even in the area of worship, just to provide some opportunities for people to come together outside, socially isolated, and do some things together. And that might take the form of a, a knockoff version of bingo. It might be Bible trivia. It might be some other things along that line. Tomorrow, our church staff is meeting, and one of the primary things that we're going to be talking about in that meeting tomorrow is the way that we might could expand this to have some ways that we can allow people to come together outside, socially distancing, wearing masks, but to do some things either in fellowship or discipleship or in worship that would allow us to at least begin to focus on coming back together. Our number one goal in that will be trying to honor what we think will be safe for us at this time. And in being safe, we also will be looking for some things that we can do that might be meaningful for people in their life journey at this time. Those can be some creative expressions out of a time where we feel chaos reigning all around us, where we know that we are in a time of darkness, and yet we continue to look for that light that God will provide. And if God, our Creator, can creatively bring meaning and purpose out of chaos and can bring something that is pronounced as being good, we trust that God can do the same thing in this time, in this aspect of our journey. So we're going to be talking in the near future about some opportunities that we might can begin focusing on coming back together. And as we make some decisions about that, we will let you know what those decisions are and when and how those opportunities might be available. Until we talk through that and get this planned, hopefully in the near future, I would ask you to continue to keep your church staff in your prayers, continue to keep our world in your prayers, continue to keep your families in your prayers, 
and continue to keep those individuals who remain on the front lines of trying to keep everyone safe and to work towards solutions. And as we look for creative ways that we can deal with this to bring new meaning and purpose in our lives, let's trust that our God is going to continue to be active now and in the future as God has been faithful in the past. And as we turn to God, we pray that God will continue to work in our lives and in our world. As we close this video together today, I would invite you to join with me in a word of prayer. Will you pray with me? God, we are grateful that you are a God who is creative and we turn to you as our creator. We have seen so many ways that your grace and your love have brought meaning and purpose into life and where you have brought light in times of darkness. We ask that you would act again and that in our world with all of the chaos that we are facing in these days, that you will act creatively and allow us to find ways to move into the future where our faith and our trust of you opens those doors for creativity to help bring renewed meaning and purpose into our lives and into our world. Continue to give us patience and shower us with your grace that we might honor you in the ways that we live. In the name of Christ, amen.